Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to the weekly report. We all remember where we were when the Berlin Wall came down. While it may have seemed that communist rule would go on forever, when the people decided that they had enough, suddenly the wall fell, just like that. Thus, it is after two years of COVID authoritarianism that in Canada, the largest truck convoy in history has smashed through the Berlin Wall of Tyranny. I have watched Canada, once respected as a haven for anti-war Americans in the 1960s, turn into one of the most repressive countries on earth. I wonder how a freedom-loving people could allow themselves to be abused by these mini Stalins without a peep. But then, Canada stood up and showed the rest of the world that freedom can triumph over tyranny if the people demand it. As I say, no army can stop an idea whose time has come. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has been basking in his ability to terrorize the population in the name of fighting a virus. He was so confident in his seemingly unlimited power that he felt he could ridicule any Canadian with different views. The Prime Minister said in a recent interview that the unvaccinated Canadians were extremists, misogynists, and racist. When the Canadian trucker stood up to his tyranny and began their historic convoy to Ottawa, he thought he could continue ridiculing the people. The truckers and their supporters were just a small fringe minority who hold unacceptable views. He confidently claimed for Trudeau, love of liberty is just an unacceptable view. Less than a week later, as tens of thousands of trucks began entering the capital with millions of supporters behind them, the brave Canadian prime minister had fled the city and shuffled off to an undeclosed location. As Elon Musk tweeted, it would appear that the so-called fringe minority is actually the government. The Canadian mainstream media is obviously just as obedient to the regime as ours. They ignored the freedom convoy for as long as possible. There was almost no reporting. Then, when it became impossible to ignore, they began to attack and ridicule instead of trying to report it accurately. It was disgusting and almost comical to see a reporter from the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation suggest that the Canadian Freedom Convoy was cooked up by Putin and the Russians. Thousands of trucks have arrived in Ottawa. They demand an end to COVID tyranny. They are backed by millions of citizens who braved the Canadian winter at night to cheer the truckers on. This protest is so important because it's not limited to Canada. The truckers are being supported worldwide and a similar convoy is being planned from California to Washington, D.C. In a U.S. where grocery store shelves are increasingly bare, the truckers have more leverage than the powers that be would like to admit. If I were a prime minister of a totalitarian Australia or New Zealand or most anywhere in Europe, I would be getting pretty nervous right now. Just as the COVID tyranny descended across the globe in a seemingly coordinated fashion, now that the Berlin Wall of the tyrants have been breached, it's just a matter of time before the shock waves are felt far and wide. We owe a debt of gratitude to the Canadian truck drivers. Let's do all we can to help the freedom movement continue to gather steam worldwide. Thanks for listening.